In this video, we're going to have a look at adding a carousel to the home page with uh, products from WooCommerce. And we're going to use Oxy Extras. We'll use Oxygen, Oxygen Elements for WooCommerce, and of course, WooCommerce installed and WooCommerce installed with the demo products. So, to get started, what we'll do is we can head over to the home page straight away. So, we head over to our home page. See it's the standard home page and then what we're going to do is edit that page with oxygen. Oxygen loading. Oxygen loaded. The first thing we'll do then is pull up the structure panel and we'll add a new section. And we'll move that section to the top. And in that section, we'll add the carousel builder from Oxy Extras. And now we're going to add the content for the products. Now, when you have a look at the carousel content that's available, you will see that you have Woo components and Woo product gallery but that is specifically if you're on the uh, pages or in the categories within WooCommerce. As we're on the home page, what we'll do is we're going to use the repeater and we're going to use that repeater then to build our uh, products. And what we'll do then is we'll add a repeater then. We'll head over to helpers. We add the repeater and then we'll head over to our query and we'll go to uh, custom and the post type well we will choose then is going to be product and we'll apply the query parameters and then what we'll do is we'll just head over to our repeater and We'll create a new div and inside that div we're going to create an image and then we'll also create a title and we'll give that a heading of h2 and we'll make that the product title so we can either do it that way or we can also add go to WooCommerce and select the product title from the WooCommerce component. So those are the two ways that you can do it. So we'll just go with the WooCommerce way of doing things. And what we'll do then is we'll delete that. And the image, as we only want the image from the product, we don't want the whole gallery. So there we'll go to Featured Image, go with Large, and Insert, and now we'll have the image coming through for that product, and there you'll see the various items. So before doing anything else, I'll just save that, and then we'll navigate to the home page, and you'll see what we have. So there we have the various products but as you can see it's not really <laughs> the way that we would want it so let's fix that quickly um, first thing that I think we'll do is we're going to change the font size on the product and the font weight so let's just make that a little bit smaller inside that div I think we'll centralize everything then what we're going to do is head over uh, to the carousel builder and what we'll do is we'll go to the cell size and we go to the cell width and we're going to make each cell let's make each cell 25% wide and now you can see it's starting to pull the products together it's still a little bit close so maybe what we want to do is add some space between the cells so then we head over to carousel uh, uh, not carousel, we head over let's go back to cells and space between cells we set at 20 
So now we have our cells coming through with a bit of space between them. And what we also want to do is make all the cells the same height. So we'll force the same height. There we go to carousel and we scroll down and then we say force equal cell heights and enable. And I think what we can do is make the product title a little bit smaller. Make that 20. Right, so there we have our carousel and then to link the each item to the product that it's um, associated with we will click on the link let's cancel that we'll go to data and we'll make that the permalink so now we've connected each product to that particular product page and now when we refresh you'll see that the products are pulled together very nicely or should be there we go and as I haven't grouped more than one product together, each dot represents a product. If I wanted the carousel to slide across a lot faster, what I could do then is group those products together. So I go into my carousel builder and I look for the carousel setting. It says uh, group cells bar. There we choose a number. So let's say I say three and I save and I then go back to the carousel. You'll see that when I advance, you'll also see a lot fewer dots and now three advance at a time. So there I'm able to decide how many products I want to advance at a time or I can slide with my mouse. And of course, when I click on a product, I'll be taken through to that individual product. So that's great. Um, and let's have a look and see what happens on mobile. So it's looking great on um, a desktop. So we inspect that and I'm going to change that to the mobile view and just move this to the side. So now in the mobile view, you'll see it's not great because I've got uh, too many products showing. So I go back to Oxygen and what I'll do is I'm going to change it to that mobile size which is this screen and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say only one cell group together and we'll apply those parameters and then the other thing that I'm going to do now is go to cells and I'm going to change the cell width to a hundred percent. So now only one cell fills that. If I was to make that 50 percent then of course you'll see two cells but in this case I think uh, only one is going to work. So we do that. I hit save. We head back to our page and now I'm able to navigate one cell at a time or slide across. Of course, the dots at the bottom now are not going to work. So what we'll do is we head over to the Carousel Builder and we go to Page Dots and we simply remove them. So we disable them. Save the page. And now when I have a look on the front end, you'll see that the dots are gone and I can scroll through the products and I go back to desktop view and I can scroll through so you'll see that uh, on desktop view the dots aren't visible let's see if we change back to all devices dot styles enable hide dots below so let's hide the dots below 768 that's probably a better way of hiding the dots and now what will happen is that we'll have the dots on the home page but we won't have the dots in the mobile view so I just give that a second to update there we have the mobile view and no more dots so that's how easy it is to add a carousel 
with products from WooCommerce to your well to any page on your website using Oxy Extras. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.